So here we are with the G-Col GT858B that was kindly donated to us by our mystery benefactor Alan. So if you saw the video, um, it did come with a bright green painted bezel. So I did respray re -spray that, having taken all the um, escutions or inlays or whatever you want to call them out. Now these radios, um, they don't have an extension speaker socket and they only have one and a half watts output to the audio. So they're not suitable for use in noisy vehicles. Just check Mr. Chippy's out there. Tango 21 test. Tango 21 working. Excellent. So the chassis is the same one used in the Fidelity Thousands. Uh, the Fidelity Thousand usually has the GT848 chassis. This is the GT858. And then there's the 86A, which has got the four knobs. And of course, they are well known for being bleed over boxes. I am Roger. They're very sensitive receivers, and that can be the set's downfall. They're not a 4 watt radio, they're 3.5 watt radio. Alright, we're passing the house and recording. Roger, got you passing the house. Have we got some control on that? Negative, no. Okay. Um, this particular one's doing 2.7 watts, and if you think that's crummy when it should be 3.5, well, it's well within specification. The service manager says anything as low as 1.7 is acceptable. Uh, appreciate you have to appreciate that a lot of new sets won't go beyond 3.6 to today. Roger got you end of the lane, and that includes the set in the test car, which is 3.6 watts, which is the Midland 78 plus multi. We can't get any more out of it. We've got three of them, and they're all as bad. station and it's 143.9 and 145.9. Roger Mark, are you going past Ancaster service station? We must be on time today. Roger, about two minutes early. Roger, simply Dodger. through Ancaster Crossroads. Roger got you going through Ancaster Crossroads.
Tango 21 from Mr Chippy. We're now going round Scratchy Corner, Wilsford. Over. Roger got you going round Scratchy Corner at Wilsford. Passing the Grayleys turn over. Roger, got you at the Grayleys turn. Tango 21 from Mr Chippy, we're now at the five mile point. Roger, got you at the five mile point. So I'm doing, I'm on this uh, Chico TC858 from 1981. He's doing 2.7 watts, he's drawing 750 milliamps, he's doing that. So we'll it on to low power, which is 230 milliwatts. So here goes, fast forward to one. Yeah, Roger that. Well, I'm receiving you probably S2 today on um, on normal power and just nowhere near on low power. Okay, I'll do this by the when you're ready. Yep, Roger that. Chippy. Yep, got you, go ahead. Yeah, 
I just said I'm on the move again. Did you not get that? I did, but you didn't hear my response. Yeah, the whole setup feels insensitive today. I don't know if there's a problem in my car or not, but uh, we'll see. Now I'm constantly having to drop the squelch well below what, where I normally drop it, so uh, I'll be checking the aerial out at some point when I get back. Tango 21 from Mr. Chippy, we're now going over Rollsby level crossing, over. Yeah, 143.7 and 145.9, over. Yep, roger that, 10 turn. Okay. Roger, got you going over Rawlsby level crossing. Do you have a petrol price for me at that end, please? Over. Well, I got the 143.7, but never mind about the other one. So that concludes the test, thank you. 10, 10. So, well known for having poor receive, but sensitive receive, and it wasn't anything like as good as we have on a higher quality set. We'll uh, have a listen to how it was on transmit. They do have really good transmitted audio clarity, the speech processing's really at the top, and uh, they're very reliable sets. Uh, along with the Maxcom 4Es and all the other sets that use that chassis, that, those two are possibly the most reliable. The least reliable of the 2781 sets are the Uniden ones. But there you go. Let's go over to our base station, see what it sounds like on our Midland 76900 with a standard replacement mic. Tango 21, testing the G-Col GTA58B. Into our Midland 76900 base station, testing 12345, Just for hum reasons, we're going to go up to low power. So we dropped it to 230 milliwatts from 2.7 watts, and then back onto the full power, which in this set is 2.7 watts. So there you go, thank you for watching. Tomorrow we've got an Albrecht splittable front expensive set, uh, which I've been working on today, and uh, then we've got a brand new latest version of the Thunderbolt T800 to uh, look at. But there we go. Thanks for watching. <laughs>